Yes, we begin tonight with new details on the search for clues in the case of a missing Northport woman. Gabby Petito's fiance has been named a person of interest in her disappearance. Northport police say a lack of information from Brian Laundrie is hindering the investigation. They have also established a tip line for information and that number is 1-800-CALL-FBI. We're also learning more about the timeline leading up to Gabby Petito's disappearance. As well as an incident in Utah involving an alleged fight between the 22-year-old and her fiancé. News Channel 8's Justin Shecker is live in the Tampa News Center with that part of the story. And Justin, police did not file any domestic charges in that case. They did not. Josh and Jen, good afternoon to you both. According to that police report, both Gabby Petito and Brian Laundrie told Moab City police officers they were in love, engaged, and did not want to be charged with a crime. Neither had significant injuries, but we've learned police separated the couple for the night after this altercation. With each passing day, Gabby Petito's parents become more desperate for answers about their daughter's disappearance during her cross-country road trip with her fiancé, Brian Laundrie. I don't know about you, but their child's home. My child's somewhere in the continental United States with no phone, no car. No, 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 this isn't, it's not as hard on them as it is on us. This newly released police report from Utah sheds light on a relationship that wasn't picture perfect. On August 12th, Moab City Police say they responded to a witness report of a physical altercation involving Petito and Laundry. The police report says Laundry told officers their time together traveling created an emotional strain between them and increased the number of arguments. He added she went to slap him because she feared he was going to leave her in Moab without a ride. The officers write they decide the fight didn't rise to the level of domestic assault as much as that of a mental health crisis. Police recommended they spend the night apart so they could relax their emotions and regain control of their anxiety. Petito stay with the van, and police help Laundry get a hotel room at Seekhaven Family Crisis Center. Almost two weeks later, Nicole Schmidt says she last spoke with her daughter while she was near Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. Though I wasn't getting responses, I believed she was in a place with no service. Um, it took, it, you know, it was like day eight, nine that I really became concerned and figured she couldn't be off the grid for that long. Today, Northport police revealed Laundry returned to Florida on September 1st, 10 days before Gabby's family reported her missing to police in New York. Police say Laundry is not cooperating with their investigation. He's now the primary person of interest. I'm not naive to the facts, but right now we're only focusing on getting her home. And the police report says both Petito and Laundry kept their cell phones for that night in case of an emergency. I have reached out to the Laundry family attorney to reaction to police naming Brian a person of interest. I have still not heard back. Live in the Tampa News Center, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.